Hey y'all, it's Day Day. So the pharmacy didn't open till nine. I sit there from eight o'clock till nine, freezing my ass off for more mental meds. I'm going through Jack's to get me something day because I'm about to starve, I'm about to freeze to death too. So anyway, I got a lot to do today. I'm still trying to get my shit moved in and get stuff set up. Y'all, this is the best I can do because I ain't got to work with my phone. So, I'm going to head into my kitchen to take my bed down. Y'all, hold on a second. Let me pay for this thing to order. Hold on just a second. I'm good. Get the rest for you, please. That's how we do shit. They should be mandatory. The people had to give a tip in the drive through I always give a tip when I go through the drive through through a drive-thru, I'm going to give a tip. It may not be much or whatever, but it's going to be some. No, I'm good. So every time I go through a drive through I'll leave a tip because these people aren't getting paid shit. I don't really have the money, but so you know, it might be, if it ain't nothing but a dollar or two dollars, you know, a tip is going to help somebody out. I do, I treat people the way I want to be treated, so pass on the kindness today you know what I mean so totally starving those new medications they put me on made me gain 20 pounds yes it did so I'm about to get back to cut my calories now that I'm getting moved and getting everything set up right now I'm excited because I'm working on a powder room my dream room that I've always wanted so I'm going to get started on it and take y'all right along with me. So it's finally getting to where I can get to some clothes where I can do some videos. But not having no damn internet, I have to go to Walmart or somewhere and say it, let it download, that kind of shit. Anyway, I can't afford to get Wi-Fi in my apartment. Hell, if I could do that, I'd have a television. I don't have a TV. I don't have time for TV. Can't afford TV. I have rent to pay and shit. You know what I mean? So I went down to get my mail yesterday out of my mailbox. The key won't work. There's no numbers on it. I can't even find my damn mailbox. So I got to take care of that sometime today also. So I'm going to pull over here and take my meds. I went and got three more bottles of meds. That's bringing it up to about 36 bottles. And so I had a good doctor's appointment yesterday. It's the first time I ever had an appointment that way. She takes me and sits me down at the computer. She said, Dr. B and me. And I said, okay. So I'm sitting there looking, popping my fingers, you know, waiting on the doctor to come in. And about 10, 15 minutes later, somebody says, good morning, how are you? I'm looking around the rain. There's nobody there. And I'm like, damn, I'm worse out than I thought it was. I was looking. There's nobody there. He said, how are you doing today? And I kept looking. I said, where are you at? I said, I, don't, I didn't see you come in. 
He said, look on the wall. I said, look on the wall. I said, hell, every time I look on the wall, I see eyeballs and shit. He said, no, look up. And then look up at the top of the screen. I said, oh. I said, hey, I've never done an appointment this way, but how are you? I'm doing, I'm, I'm okay. It floored me because it's the first time I've ever done an appointment like that. And I said, well, I can't wait no computer. So if this is where the appointment's going to be, I can't do it because I can't work a computer. He said, no, you just sit there and talk. I said, okay. I absolutely love this doctor. He talked to me for an hour and uh, was telling me my diagnosis and shit. I'm like, well, I already knew that. you know, just keep adding shit to me. You'll be putting me in a mental house. You know what, man? I'm just saying. Anyway, I'm going to get off here. I got a lot of shit to do. And we'll catch you later. Y'all hit that subscribe button, share this video. Give me a thumbs up and have a wonderful day. I'm just saying.